Hey, are you ready? Are you ready to expose yourself? Are you ready to expose the hurt, the pain, the triggers, the trauma, the everything in order to get to a healthy place, in order to change your life, in order to feel good when you wake up every morning? All days aren't good, but overall, aren't you ready? Are you ready to lift the depression and the discouragement? I know I was and am, and I am on this journey. And I want to take you with me. So if you're ready to heal, I'm not talking about just time and only prayer. I'm talking about active healing, getting ugly, getting down and dirty in order to expose not only you, the old you, the present you, but an even more beautiful you that is going to uh, liberate you to places that you didn't even know you could be. So come on with me. We about to get in this thing. Active healing, take one, let's go. I wonder if you're doing enough to really truly heal. That's what was said to me almost a year ago. And my knee jerk reaction was to say, well, yeah, of course I am. I'm praying, I'm, you know, doing little exercises here and there. And of course there's the whole time thing. I'm not engaging in any toxic behaviors. Duh, of course I'm healing, but then as I thought about it later, I just kept replaying that same sentence over and over and over in my head. And I said, wait, am I doing everything I can to really truly heal? What is healing? What should I really be doing other than prayer and self-help books, which in time, which aren't, aren't bad things. But what I noticed in life is that we go through we go through these emotional experiences and then we um, we let time pass. And of course it gets better because as time passes, the emotions of the what happened are now, you know, uh, uh, have gone down a little bit. So of course you're gonna feel somewhat better or time's gonna heal it. Um, and then you have prayer. Prayer is powerful. It helps get you through things. Once we're out of those things though, what are we doing? What have we done to erase not erase the trauma, but kind of work through the trauma. Because soon as another trigger comes up, or if you're in an unhealthy relationship, or you haven't um, um, latched on or learned any uh, new tools to cope with going forward, you're going to end up in the same spot. So with that being said, that's when I um, determined that no, I wasn't necessarily doing everything I needed to heal. I was doing what I always did and that was surviving through that emotional experience, healing some of the emotion and, and the heartbreak or whatever it was with time and prayer. But there was still all of this extra residue and coming from, you know, years and years and years of trauma, triggers, bad experiences, or whatever the case may be. Um, and so um, that leads me to, to now or what I have been doing for over the past year, and that's to actively heal. And so um, as I've gone through this journey, um, even since I decide, even since that time, it's gotten just downright ugly. When I used to think of healing, I used to think of, you know, beautiful stuff. Like when you heal, it's, it's, it's you know, making the, the bad good again. And so during this part of the journey in my life, I didn't realize how ugly it can be and and even be going forth in healthy relationships or he healthy uh, situations you still have this this uh this thing in your mind where it's like all these triggers the thing about triggers is you can't you cannot um you can't escape them. You have to work through them to eliminate some of them. And so I came up with this thing um in in uh not only in active healing but i came up with this thing called triple a so it's awareness acceptance and action and so the awareness is you have to be aware that you need this that you need a change you know you feel it i know a lot of you feel that you you need this change but where do i start and that's where i'm hoping to help you with this this is just the intro uh to the active healing series and i hope that you you know um that it that it's uh it helps you i'm trying to provide practical ways um experiences that i've had things that i've done that worked it's not necessarily a fast process i mean i'm still you know working through it but uh, you got to 
sometimes you just go and go and go and go and you feel like it's not working but slowly but surely sometimes we have to work you know in a slow and slow motion sometimes we're forced to go slow i was just talking about this today like um the best meat has to be marinated you know and if you just rush through it it's going to be not as good as when you slow cooked it or smoked it or whatever have you like your meat but anyway awareness so you have to be aware that you you know that there's a change that needs to be made um acceptance is acknowledging the fact that um in order to move forward you have to do something you have to do something more than you've done in the past you can't continue to do the same thing and you know get this uh get different results it's not going to work and we can't just keep surviving. We have to thrive. We have to be liberated. We have to, you know, experience life as it's supposed to be. Um, and then number three, of course, is take action. And I'm talking take aggressive action. We have to do more than just sit and pray and take the time. I cannot stress enough that I know for a fact power is in prayer. Prayer is powerful. God answers. He heals. He delivers use that. But you also have to do the work. You can't just sit and do nothing or just let, allow time because as we get older, these things pile up and we have compacted trauma on top of trauma on top of trauma and to the point where we can't even get past. So um, it's awareness, accept, acceptance, and action. Keep those three three things in mind. So the plan that I have um, put, in forward, or put forward is, like I said, it has to do with... Um, it has to do with uh, just practical ways. It's simple things. There's nothing difficult in in this and anything that I'm that I'm going to say. And I just want you to continue on in my journey. The first few videos are going to be what I've experienced and what I've done and what I've worked on in the past year that has actually worked. It may have taken some time, but I have 30 years of trauma to work through. You get what I'm saying? So um, it has snowballed and evolved as I've had to go through not only he healing the past things, but ongoing things as well. Because not only do we have, you know, all the past to work through, but we still got to deal with everyday life. And in this pandemic and everything else that's going on, um, I mean, we can barely get through a day without dealing with some type of anxiety, depression, discouragement. And we cannot sit here with the same old stuff clogging up our hearts because it makes us debilitate. Like we don't want to move. And who wants to go through that every day? I want to live. I want to thrive. And I want to help you do that as, as, I was, oh, dang talk. I'm getting so excited about it as well. So first, let me tell you though, it is not easy. It's not easy. I, I say that all the time. First, it was energizing. Anytime you get a new thing going on, you're like, yeah, I'm motivated. I'm, 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 I'm in this. Let's do this. I can do it. We're going to do great things, which of course, that is true. But then, you know, you start it up, you do it, and then stuff just keeps hitting you or that same old, you know, discouraging feeling or unmotivated or life problems. Or as soon as you get ready to do a good thing, you get the devil off your back or you just get your mind focused, you know what happens. Something always happens and then it just, just keeps hitting. Just like this. And you just be like, you know what? Forget it. So it's like, it's that. It's the discouragement. And discouragement is so heavy. Like, we we got a whole we got a whole section on that so we're not even going to get into that right now but then then you plateau so you're like good you you motivate you still want to do it but you're kind of like you know the energy is kind of like I'm here then you still go on and you go and you go and then you just feel like it's not working because you're like I didn't put in the work I didn't did A B and C I didn't use this way I didn't pray it and blah 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 and it's still the same it's not working I'm just like so then you get in that discouragement thing again and then that's when like the heaviness of hopelessness comes if it or if it hasn't already especially if you've dealt with depression for a long time or you got a lot of stuff going on the hopelessness is just like I've always done right by God or I've always done this and I've always done that and I've always been a good person I'm just but it's not working and the past is just the same thing over and over and over again I've tried this different you tell me to do different and guess what I still get the same result but I'm doing different things so what's the point and so we are going to deal with that all throughout our lives <clears throat> but know that something is going to break I don't care if somebody broke at 20 or 25 your journey is different I have that same thought in my mind all the time like I mean what is it like I've worked hard doing stuff my entire life like when am I going to get my actual you know when am I going to get over the hump I just want to get over the hump I'm sick of this so never fret it's coming it's gonna come 
and you'll get little things here and there as you take your baby steps, but just don't quit. I, I know it's tough, okay? Um, and then you'll see eventually the slow creep of the light. You might get peaks here and there. I know you want the full brightness. It's coming. You will get that, but keep moving. Try to stay motivated. Some days we will just want to lay in bed, and you know what? That's fine. Mental health is becoming, you know, more of, of a... Um, uh, an open thing now to where it's not deemed like oh you're crazy just because you're dealing with mental health issues everyone is dealing with them and um you know i know there are some that are you know heavy disorders and things like that but everyone deals with mental health and it's important to take care of yourself you have to recognize when you need to just lay down and just say you know what this day is just going to be what it is it's going to i i feel this way it's okay for me to have these feelings i'm going to accept them and i'm going to you know not do anything today or feel burned out or whatever i'm just gonna rest and then you get up the next day and you and you you know you beat up the clouds and you keep moving or if it takes you a week just don't sit in it forever you know just keep praying just keep trying to reinforce good things in your mind i i that social media um you know the people around you if there's tv shows there anything that you know is a trigger take it out because that is what feeds into your discouragement you have to actively think positive thoughts because negative thoughts are just like chemical reactors in your brain that are just i'm not saying the right terms but they are just in there they're going to be there and they're going to continue um to fight against your positive thinking. So you have to take action. Everything is action, action, action. Hence, active healing. So, almost done. Um, this is a forever journey. It's not a destination, really. Active healing, yes, you can close out chapters of your life or, or eliminate triggers to the point where you don't have some of them or reduce some so minimal that it takes you a snap to get out of them. But this is still a forever journey because life is going to continue forth. There's still going to be issues and things that come up that you have to heal from. Some things that we just can't avoid. You know, there's grief from death. There's grief from lost relationships, whether it's friends, family, uh, loved ones, all that. You know, it's so you have to understand it's a forever journey, but don't be hopeless in that. Knowing that because you know that you've done active healing, the difference is going to be life changing. Okay. Um, so in doing this, in doing this series, my goal is to share my journey, share my resources to help you out because I feel like at this time in everyone's life, especially, I mean, just all age groups, but I know I can speak and relate to, you know, the people like the eighties babies and, and hopefully everybody else, um, um, in some, in some way, but I want at least. Uh, be able to give you a starting point for your for your healing, for your active healing, or give you some things to think about, or just encourage you for the day. Whatever purpose that I have in your life, um, I you know I I praise God for um, connecting us, and I I hope that um, you know it helps somebody, touches somebody, or everybody in a positive way that comes across this. Um, also, is uh, my um, uh, <laughs> my goal in doing this is to uplift you give you hope. Uh, cause like I said, hopelessness is heavy. And sometimes all you need to hear is that word, right? Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is a better, healthier you that exists that you haven't even maybe tapped into. And the feeling of, of that, the results after all that hard work, even if they're little results is so liberating and keeps you just moving and wanting to do more. The healthier you is going to be better for you and everybody around you. And that energy is going to be so strong that you have no choice but to smile through it, right? Um, I'm going to be transparent and as relatable as I can because I want you to benefit from it. Sometimes it's, it's, you know, fairy tales and lollipops and gumdrops. I love to dream big. I love to think that anything can happen, but I also know, um, that life can be downright ugly at times, um, sometimes for a long time. And so I don't want to always come on here and, and pretend like everything is, oh, I can do one, two, three, and it's done. Because it's not like that all the time. But sometimes it is as easy as one, two, three. So get up, let's do this, okay? Um, so, um, yeah, I already I read that. What I found out is true active healing is, is very ugly, but it produces beautiful results. So I hope that you guys um, stay with me, um, sharing my vulnerabilities and my, um, and my joy. Um, 
And just through this journey, as I continue to actively heal, I hope that you guys are able to help me as well. And so we will have some practical examples, some easy exercises. I'll have some resources. I'll have some books, um, just different things. And as I go on, please feel free to share um, some things with, with me as well. I am very, very excited about this series. Um, God has put this on my heart. Um, will not let it go. I've been not procrastinating, just having a lot of stuff going on, but I have got to get this out because there are people out there that need this. I need this. So um, thank you guys if you made it this long, 14 minutes, it's a long time to hear me babble. But, um, and I pray that um, you are interested and will follow along because I'm here for you. All right, guys, thanks, 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 thanks. And stay tuned for um, part one of Active Healing. Love you. Bye.